video off, I wanted to make sure I had a healthy breakfast and then I got ready and went on to the gym. After the gym, I went to the grocery store and picked up some flowers and a health shot. I gave the flowers to my mom because I wanted to give her a little gift, you know, so here's me unwrapping them and putting them in the vase. And then I also tried the health shot with you guys, so... That was interesting. I am going to be trying my elderberry elixir cold juice shot thing. I've seen these all over health, that girl, TikToks, YouTube videos, everything. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try this together. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take like the whole shot. I'm not good at chugging anything. Hopefully this goes okay. It smells like a spice cabinet. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just let's just do it. Oh, that's actually bad. That's actually disgusting. It's like it burns. It burns. I need I need water after that. That was emotionally painful. I know that elderberry is really good for you and it has a bunch of benefits. I don't know if this is the best way to consume it though. I do not like this. I give it zero out of 10 stars. I'll probably try out some other ones throughout the spring and in other videos. If you live in Canada and you know any of that are good, definitely tell me because this was not it. For anyone else that wants to torture themselves, this is what it looks like. Cut the cameras, y'all. This was, I need to go eat something after that. That's disgusting. Also guys, I don't know if I told you, but I got my braces off and I'm so, so happy. Life without braces is a little bit weird, but I'm happy to have them on. Hi guys, welcome to spring reset vlog. Finally spring and it's actually starting to feel like it because it's been spring for like half a month now, like two, three weeks, the weather. The next thing that we're gonna do is talk about my April wallpaper, or I guess not really talk about it. I'm just going to do my April wallpaper. I've done this, you guys saw for February in my reset video. I don't think I showed you guys for March. This has been what my wallpaper has looked like. I really like this. I like the green and just like health vibe. And I think like it actually has been working, I guess. Like I feel like I'm in what i wanted on here my health has been like i feel like improving i'm gonna make one for april i already collected a bunch of pins on my pinterest board and i'm very excited to put it together just looking at this like board that i made it looks so good here's what it is lots of like pinks and greens and like very spring vibes i know that a lot of people like springtime already we're getting there okay a couple weeks i say and we're there but march is like not spring whatsoever we had snow like twice in march so april is the real spring for me and that's why i'm in full like florals flowers greens pinks like everything and i'm also going to make sure that i'm looking over my goals i already wrote my goals for april which making sure that i'm referencing them while i do this vision board i just wanted to pop in here and tell you guys a little bit about the vision board because i actually lost the footage of me putting together the vision board i love this one i think it's super cute and i love how it really is like very spring i'll put it up on the screen in case you want to like screenshot or take it for yourself but i'm just gonna like talk a little bit about what's on it first of all i have reading i did not read a lot at the beginning of the year especially because because like the beginning of the year is so busy for school and okay, once I graduate, once I finish grade 11, I'll be in prime time. I want to be reading, I have some green juices on here because I got to be having my green smoothies. Lots of like self care, cute brandy PJs. I want a set so bad. Maybe they'll be like my little spring gift to myself. I have pictures of working out, of like cherry blossoms, just like nature, flowers, green. I'm so excited for the trees to come back. You don't even know. Walking, being outside, like I just want to really get back outside. And then the quotes that I chose for April, be where your feet are, just being present, being mindful enjoying the current moment and good things are coming because good things really are coming so i definitely recommend making you know some cute little vision board it's so fun and i just love this so much i've also been journaling and like i said like i made my april goals to keep track of in this vision board and i feel like that's equally as important as the vision board itself it's just making sure that you have a direction that you're going in journaling for me is like a must for a new season, for a new month, for everything. I've talked about my journaling routine, I think, in my reset day video, so definitely go check that out if you want to know a little more about it. But that is kind of what my vision board is all about, so sorry for losing the footage on you guys. Okay, so my mom's actually going to be doing my nails. I'm going to be painting them because they are boring. I'm just going to paint them like baby pink, and yeah. So I know I've been in this spot like literally the whole video, but 
I wanted to give a little intermission and show you guys some clothing that I've got recently because I feel like that adds to the spring reset and also who doesn't love a mini clothing haul. I went thrifting a couple weeks ago and I picked up two skirts that I feel like are perfect for summer and I'm so excited because I love them both so much. First, let's talk about this literally huge heel, very Moana Mamma Mia skirt. I don't even think I have a maxi skirt other than this one. This is a long, very bright and vibrant teal skirt. This gave me very much like island vacation vibes. It has these crochet stitchings in between kind of like the different levels and then there's also more stitching like down here. It's just super, super cool. I love it so much. Both these outfits I feel like would be good with like a like, white tube top or something because the next one I got is also so cute. Very like thick cloth material mini skirt. Very comfortable. It's very thick. Like obviously I really can't like show you guys how thick it is but this is a pattern. It's like navy blue and white. It looks pretty good like folded over like this. This is Wilfred Free. Don't know what that means. And this one is from Maxine. But anyways, these two skirts are so cute. And I have been very big on skirts coming up for the spring, for the summer. I've seen so many cute skirts from Garage, which is literally my favorite store of all like every single store. I love Garage. I'll choose it first every single time. I do hope that I'll be able to do like a haul, spring clothing haul, summer clothing haul in a couple weeks but this is kind of what i have for now that i picked up it is not warm enough to wear these yet but it is just so cute and i just wanted to share them with you guys for this part of the video i wanted to do a little bit of a goal checkup because if you guys watch my beginning of 2024 video i talked about how you can split the year up into quarters and kind of check into your goals every quarter or basically every season so that is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to look over all of my goals and my intentions if you want to know about goal setting i do have a video on it so we won't go into it too much but basically i like to set intentions like the general idea of how i want my year to go and then goals which is like i have two full pages of just goals and random things that i want to achieve the first intention i had here was to consistently spend time with god and i definitely have done that i've incorporated doing bible study into my morning routine every day and it's been great i love having that i think that it's really good to get into the word the first thing in the morning and i usually just do a soap style bible study over it second one here i have is be mindful and present morning meditation phone breaks i have been working my best not to zone out i do zone out a lot when i get bored or when i'm not stimulated enough and i've just been keeping myself busy taking up a bunch more hobbies crochet and making bracelets and so that's been helping me to like stimulate my mind but not just be on my phone all the time i haven't been meditating though even though i do it sometimes at night I cannot stay focused. I find myself wandering at least 20 times in like a five minute meditation. So I will continue to work on it, but at least I'm doing the meditation in the first place. Third thing is to continue to grow my socials. I didn't really post in January and not really in March, mostly because of school. So I haven't been as consistent as I want to on YouTube, but you know, we have grown. And so I'm super happy for any of you guys who have joined in the past couple months. With TikTok actually, I have taken a break for like almost a month. And it's just because like i'm not exactly sure how i'm loving that but i'm just praying about it and thinking about it and i'm not like worried about it obviously when you set goals at the beginning of the year like things can change so quickly even in just three months this is why it's so important to go over everything so that you make sure that you're staying on track because sometimes you might not even give up on a goal but it's just not important to you anymore not to say that i don't care about take that anymore i'm just taking a break fourth thing i have in here is eat whole foods i have been better at eating breakfast now that i'm home in the mornings i do eat breakfast more but not like and I've been trying to cook more and trying recipes as well as just like get easy things that I can make like avocado toast or Caesar salad or Greek yogurt and my smoothies and all that stuff. Fifth thing I have here is move my body and I think this is probably along with like the spending time with God one, the best one I've been doing. I feel like I've been doing really good with my goals this year and I'm really happy about it. I've been into a workout routine for like, it's actually been like a full month that I've been doing my workout routine. I may make a video on it, who knows, maybe like in a couple weeks when I'm like solid solid in it, but I've been going to the gym more started running and i'm still very much a beginner but i'm actually doing it which is good and then obviously it's getting warm outside and it's getting nicer i do need to work on stretching because i don't always stretch as long as i should because it is important for your body and i'm also trying to regain my flexibility the sixth one is nurture a loving heart and like i said in my last video or like my 2024 video just being less judgy being more open-minded open to like new experiences and opportunities i think i have been more open-minded especially when i started high school and just straight out of covid i was very very introverted and i kind of just 
attach that to my identity i feel like and just told myself i was always introverted but then kind of realized that wasn't exactly entirely true i wouldn't say i'm the most outgoing person ever but i have been trying to just talk to new people or talk to people i don't usually talk to so i think i'm doing a good job at that seven is stick to healthy routines so what i had here was morning and night routine good habits mindfulness and then reading the bible like i said i've been reading the bible basically every single day and that's been so good for me morning routine perfect solid like i have that down pat night routine that's what i'm gonna work on in april like i said my workout routine has been good eating like making sure that i'm getting the three full meals a day all that has been like on the rise like i'm getting better and then last year i have grow community i've been in high school for three years now so it's not exactly like making new friends because i've basically known everyone since grade nine or at least grade ten but just becoming closer with people that i didn't usually talk to before and also just with my family hanging out with my brothers and my parents i mean i've always hung out with my family a lot i just think that being around good people is so important i think i'm actually doing really good and i feel like a lot of the time i set new year's resolutions anyone says res new year's resolution and ends up like forgetting them or falling off track doing this checkup i was kind of scared that i would be like so far off track with all my goals but i'm actually doing really good i'm so proud of myself for that so that is my goal recap for the spring or i guess the winter the first quarter of the year i think i'm doing really really good i'm actually really happy with how it's been going